So my name is Kevin Collins with HomeTheaterForum.com. We have Sander here representing the Elite line for the Elite LCD. Um, can you just kind of walk us through some of the, the features of this incredible set? I was here at the event yesterday and saw the incredible dynamic blacks, the inky black. It's the first time I've seen anything like that since uh, the Pioneer folks with the Curl did the demonstration unit at Consumer Electronics Show in 2009. Yes, I'd love to. Um, what we've done is this, it's been a long time collaboration between Sharp Electronics and Pioneer, and uh, it's been over several decades. So we've basically married the two and created the, uh, the best LED television in the world today. And the way that we did that is with several technologies. And the first one that I can point out to is the IVC. IVC stands for Intelligent Variable Contrast. And basically what that does is it um, manipulates the backlighting of the television so it actually redistributes the black levels and the white levels in the television through a specific algorithm. So when, when, I, when we talk about this, it's you know, a lot of the LCD panels that are out today are, you know, they're super thin and that's kind of, isn't that from like edge lighting so the LEDs are on the side? How is this with full array LED different than th that kind of uh, device? Well, the reason why is because we have a 60 inch and a 70 inch and a lot of times when you have uh, televisions that are that large, you get a lot of hot spots, as you would say, whereas it's not as bright in certain spots. So that's why we went with the full array. Okay. Um, even I've, I've noticed that, you know, usually with the full array, so that, that means all the LEDs are behind the screen instead of on the edge, and that's usually how they get the really thin displays, but right. I was looking at this, and it's, it's only like, it's I believe thin. it's a, a, just a little over three inches thick. Exactly. It's very thin, and we're very proud of the fact that we were able to make it that thin, and, um, and we're just very proud of this, because again, like I said, it's the, it's the best uh, LED LCD out there on the market today, actually in the world. And uh, again, it was a collaboration over the years. And um, there's something that's really important that, that when you have this in your home or you have this on your showroom floor, is to make sure that you have it in pure mode. Because that's the best mode that's going to be able to showcase the uh, black levels and the white levels to the best, its best ability. What are, what are the other modes that people might choose? Well, they, uh, some people like standard modes in their home. Some people on the sales floor might also like uh, a more, sa more saturated type of look, which would be dynamic mode. Um, they can put that in store mode or in home mode that's, that's uh, in the menu system, you know? So, um, you know, a lot of the television sets that have the, well, when they used to do the full, full array LED, there was like two different kinds of LEDs that they could use. They could just use white or they could have red, green, blue. All, but I noticed that on your sign you have red, G, blue, plus Y. Well, these, those are pixels, so it's R, G, B, plus Y. So we actually added that extra yellow pixel to go from a million, actually a billion colors to a trillion colors now. You can actually see colors that you've never ever seen before. So candy apple reds and uh, golden hues of, of, of different browns and golds and different blues. We've actually expanded the color spectrum and the color gamut to go from a million to a trillion. So that's like, for example, if you've gone into a big box store and you go uh, to pick out uh, some type of paint and you see all those paint chips and you see all the different colors in between, say, the lightest blue to the darkest blue or the lightest red to the darkest red. Well, it's all those colors in between that you're going to be able to produce that you've never been able to produce on any other television that's out there on the market today, and with this television, you're you're able to. Was there any other uh, reasoning for adding the the why? Did it yeah. increase brightness or anything? It increased brightness, and uh, besides that, it also this is the most energy efficient television on the market today. Also, this type of television, maybe you know twenty to twenty five dollars a year uh, to run. So those that are um, you know very interested in saving money as far as electricity or saving the environment, this is a very very uh, very environmentally. Um, uh, television. So now they uh, in the in the conference that was yesterday for for everyone. There was I think I think he actually said it was twenty two dollars a year to run it on the uh, uh, Energy Star uh, Energy Energy Star efficient. The other thing he uh, talked about that I kind of wanted to elaborate a little bit more on. He he talked about some certifications uh, that the the thing had for you know keeping everything in the right color gamut and having the right gamma scale. The, the THX certification, yes. This is the only television 60 inch and above that is THX certified. 
So there, there's, there's two, two sizes, right? Large and extra large. Sixty and the seventy inch. And and what are the what's what's the pricing for that? Uh, MSRP is for the sixty inch. I believe it's uh, fifty five hundred, and the seventy inch is eighty five hundred. And where would where would people buy this at? They can buy this at uh, individual uh, dealers. Um, I would say Pioneer dealers, and also um, Magnolia. So anyone that's an elite and, uh, and already an elite established dealer through Pioneer would be able to get the elite LCD. Yes. Well, great. Is there uh, any other special features that our readers would want to know about this? Yes. Also, I would say um, there's also ISF calibration certified also, which is very important. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Nice meeting you, and uh, we look forward to uh, getting a uh, unit to review. Oh, one more question. When, when are they available? They are already oversold, so they're available right now as we speak.